I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and in this video we're taking a detailed look at the Procase Travel Electronic Organizer Cord Pouch, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. The outside of this case is pretty simple. I'm just gonna flip it around. You can see there's not a ton going on. So we're gonna talk about a couple of things on the outside before we take a look at the inside. So starting off with the material, we have a water resistant nylon. I'll pull it up a little bit closer to the camera there so you can get a closer look. Um, it's fairly simple. It's pretty soft and really, really flexible. So that's great with this pouch because you do need to have it be really flexible in order to get all of your gear in here and still be able to close it. So in terms of function, it works really, really well for that. Um, the water, it's uh, the material itself is water resistant, but you do still have these open sides. So this isn't something where it's like, you know, you're going to want to keep it away from moisture in general, but if something does get on there, you're pretty set. Uh, you can use this for things other than electronics, like if you want to use it for toiletries or just general like stuff sack type pouch thing, that works really great for that too. It's pretty uh, multifaceted. So we also have a little logo on the front here. This is like rubber. It's stitched in. It feels a little bit like on the cheaper side, but this is a pretty budget pouch. So don't really expect anything different. Um, and at least it's, you know, pretty secure on there. It just looks um, not quite as like premium as other tech pouches we've tested. And then we also have this elastic on the outside, which this opens with like a little cinch cord um, essentially. So you can tighten it as much as you need to in order to get this closed. Um, and then it's pretty simple to get in and out of it. And then it sort of loops through this front here that acts as like the securing of that cinch cable or cinch cord. And um, it just kind of holds it in place there, but we can get on into the inside to show you what it looks like when you have it all laid out. All right, so opening it up, all you have to do is clamp that and release it so that you have more um, extension on the cable there. And then you just pull it out from around it and then you can unroll it and get a good look at everything inside. I'm actually going to flip that like that. There's no like upside down, but they do have a few pockets down here that if you have it flipped the other way, it's kind of upside down. So I guess kind of do with that what you will. But looking at the actual storage here, we have two or three zippered pockets total on the sides here. We have one that it's just one big pocket. And here I just have a little notebook and these are unbranded zippers. They feel pretty secure. They move super easily. So, you know, sometimes I'd open this up and like they've kind of slipped down just a little bit. They never opened up fully or anything like that, but just something to keep in mind. And then we have these pockets over here. They both zip toward the center, which is nice because then you don't have, like in this case here, you can have that zipper pole like hanging out when it's closed. But on this side here, since they're both in the center, you don't have to deal with that. So that is just like a nice little design feature, um, pretty thoughtful. And then in here, I just have, you know, headphones, that sort of thing. Um, I'm gonna leave everything in here so I can kind of show you a couple of things with like when you're packing it up. But so we have those pockets there for um, items that could get easily lost. Down here, we have space for dongles. So these are like, if you have SD cards, you can put them in here. Um, in here, I just have like some smaller items that I like the fact that this is down here because I think it just makes it easier to get to smaller items like this that like if these items were all in here in the zippered pocket every time you open the zippered pocket you'd have to kind of sort through all the ones that you were looking for whereas instead them being down here you know exactly where they are they hold pretty securely in place the elastic on this um, kind of across the board feels really secure so it holds everything uh, in place nicely which is really great uh, over here, we have six elastic bands to choose from. I they, The way that they kind of show it on their website is you can loop it through both bands like this with your cable. I found that to be a little bit tedious because then you're like kind of shoving it through both. Um, and they like if they didn't match up perfectly, if you didn't roll it perfectly, it got like a little bit weird. So what I mainly did was just put my cords through one of the top or like bottom loops. And then you technically have more storage space for additional loops. Now you do kind of have like, you can see here, these like little attachment points are kind of dangling down. So I could technically like feed it through here if I wanted to, but I think, you know, they felt really secure even just using one side of the loop. So I didn't really see a need to feed it through both, but you can if you want to. They do feel really secure though. Like the loops didn't stretch out or anything for me over the course of my testing. So that's really great. 
And then over here we have two little pockets, again, facing inward so that nothing's gonna slide out the outside, which is great. So here I just have a little wall charger and then this is like a larger like brick charging station for a couple of different uh, devices. So that is really great for that as well. So you do have a, a good variety of storage options here. The thing that I want to kind of bring up the most is when you're actually closing this up when it's really packed out. So you can see that it's like panel, 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 panel. And in a perfect world, if everything was super flat, these panels would all lay on top of each other, but you can see that it doesn't perfectly align here. So what I end up with is like this kind of folded around and like the elastic can handle it, but I find myself like, I don't know, if you can see it, it looks just like a little bit goofy when it's like half folded over this way. So you do have to take up a little bit more real estate in order to get it to lay a little bit flatter. But if you were to take out, say some of these chunkier items right here, then you do have more flexibility in how much you can cinch this down. So it really comes down to what you have in your uh, tech pouch, whether or not this works for you, but it's a great budget option that can fit a ton of gear and uh, kind of be customized to your needs. So there you have it, the Procase Travel Electronic Organizer Cord Pouch. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.